J&J releasing vaccine trial results, 85% effective in preventing illness just one month after just one shot. Last night, Novavax saying its vaccine trial also looks promising. All this as we had another day of more than one and a half million vaccinations across America. Is there reason to be cautiously optimistic about how the rollout is going or still reason for concern? Let's bring in Dr. Eric Topol, founder and director of Scripps Research Translational Institute. Dr. Topol, thank you very much for joining us. Obviously, unfortunately, this, like everything else in our society, has become politicized. When you just look at the numbers, how do you think things are going right now? Thanks. Great to be with you, Brian. I, I think we've got now four vaccines with good efficacy. We had the two uh, mRNA, and now, uh, as of the last 24 hours, Novavax looks good, as does the J&J. &J. They have different features, uh, different benefits, but our tool chest for vaccines has really markedly expanded. It's doubled. And we also had positive antibody or antigen treatment news from Eli Lilly, which kind of got brushed over, at least with all the other news that we've had out there, doctor. I think the question is, we want to be hopeful. The numbers have been okay so far, but these new variants, that I think is what is scaring the medical and scientific communities. What's your take on what we know, which arguably is not a whole lot right now? Right. Well, firstly, going back to the point you made, a very good one, Brian, on the monoclonal antibodies against the virus, the combination that Lilly had of 70% reduction of, re of death and hospitalization, which is terrific. That hasn't been approved yet. Uh, the EUA that exists is just for one of those antibodies. So we want to see that get out there and all the data we want to see as soon as possible. Now with the variants, we have a problem there, particularly the one that is called South African, uh, but it's, uh, it's called you know, B1351. That variant uh, is escaping from our immune response. We knew about it in the test tube, but now we know about it in these two trials. Both Novavax and J&J &J saw a significant drop off because the people in South Africa in the trials, 95, 90% or more had that variant. And it's very similar to the Brazil variant, so-called mm -hmm. P1. So we have an issue here because we, our vaccines are going to have diminished efficacy. They're still going to work, but they're not going to work as well. And so uh, we've got to gear up for that. Yeah, and speaking with a scientist on this earlier this week, Dr. Topol, there was some optimism, at least among one, again, and we can find people with very different views, that this mRNA technology, this new vaccine technology, the positive of it is this guy described it to me kind of like Legos, honestly, where you could sort of mix and match as you are able to change it up. Are you optimistic that this mRNA protein technology and how we can tweak it might be e easy, not easily, but more easily tweaked to go after various variants because all viruses ultimately do mutate. Absolutely, the, the, the platform of mRNA is ideally suited. It's just changing some letters to go along with the mutations that have been uh, the culprits. So that won't be difficult, That's, that can happen fast. And that would be the constitute that booster, uh, which will help. So we can adjust. The, the key really though, Brian, is what about the next uh, major variant? Because we're not containing the virus. So we're in this kind of hyper evolution phase and so we've got to get containment. Besides getting booster shots of vaccines and getting the vaccines mm -hmm. into as many people as quickly as we can, we've got to get a much, do a much better job of preventing the spread of the virus. That's it. And at least, you know, 1.6 million, the rollout, states are figuring it out. Doctor, we got to leave it there. But very, very quickly, is there reason for us all Friday night to feel a little cautious? Optimism or no? Well, I'm a very optimistic uh, person, and I have no reason to think we're not going to prevail. It may take a little longer because of this new variant stuff, but we'll get there. We will get there. All pandemics do come to an end. We appreciate the viewpoint and the intelligence. Dr. Topol, thank you very much. All right. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.